Hi everyone, it's Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you a little TK Maxx haul. Uh, on my nails is this beautiful native war paints. Look at all the bar glitters. It's so pretty, this uh, white crelly with tons of bar glitters in yellow, red, green and blue. And it is called With Sprinkles. And this was sent to me by the lovely Margaret Joder. So thank you, Margaret. She also sent me a ton of other stuff, but I'll talk about that in another bit video. All right, so I was in TK Maxx. I did not intend buying anything, but then I saw this and yeah, I just couldn't resist because I can't get Barry M here. So when I see it, I like to pick it up and I was in Germany. So um, yeah, so the retail price apparently is 23 pound or 23 euro and then 6.99 was for the five in the box and then I found this mystery polish this is from Essie and I don't know what it's called I'll need to look up the name if I can find the name I'll put it on the bottom of the screen it is a magnetic so um yeah I'm going to play around with that and see um if I, I kind of when I picked it up I kind of looked at it and thought this looks like it's probably going to be magnetic so yeah I decided to, to try it out I can't remember how much this was it was like 3 99 maybe um but yeah so that is the mystery essay uh, if you can guess what the name is before I put it up on screen a bazillion points to you okay so let's start looking at the Barry M so this one I've actually worn already I'll put a shot on screen for you although I wore it with a topper so you might not be able to see the base color that well. This is strawberry ice cream and this has a kind of curly formula so it's it's not the most opaque but I'll show you now exactly what I mean. These swatch sticks are a bit scratched up. I'm experimenting with backdrops so I'm like I've, I bought like a pad with loads of different types of paper so just to try and mix it up a little bit. Ideally I would like to get back to face to face uh, videos so you can see it's not the most opaque but the formula is very very nice it's a re if you're looking for a delicate pink especially for a French manicure this might be a good one to look for so that's the first coat of strawberry ice cream and I'll come back and do a second third coat as, as well there then we have this really deep, deep kind of burgundy color. Really lovely. And this is called, the label on this one is a bit older. Uh, oh, not here it is. Vengeance in Wine. Okay, so they're billing it as more of a wine color. It, it does have a lot more brown in it, I think, um, than what I would expect from a wine color. But uh, let's have a look at it. This is probably a very old polish. So I guess they just box up these polishes and send them off to TK Maxx. Although now that the brush is out of the bottle, yeah, it's quite red. It looked very brown in the light there. So this is a very kind of squishy jelly formula. Very pretty, actually. I really like that colour in the autumn. So very, very shiny. Okay, and I would probably need two, three coats on that as well. And then this is the one that kind of spoke to me uh, when I was looking at the box. And this is called, where's the name of this? Miami. And this is a pink matte polish, which I have nothing like this in my collection. And it's a really bright pink. So I'm interested to see. It's like a bubblegum pink. So I'm interested to see how this is going to uh, mattify. Oh, the brush is much thinner on this as well. It's super bright. The formula is very, very thin. But we'll have a look and see how that mattifies. This looks like it's mattifying as well, but sometimes these swatch sticks, they make them matte, but that looks like it's mattifying for some reason. And so there's this, but it shouldn't. Uh, they, sometimes these swatch sticks are a bit tricky. Or swatch wheels, I should say. But that is mattifying. I actually quite like it. It kind of dulls it a little bit, the mattifying effect. But again, I'll come back with a couple of other coats. Then this is a very, very pale. It's It's got a lot of yellow in it. 
to be a cream I think but I think it is leaning more into that cream colour and this is called Stop the Clock. This is one of their quick dry. I don't have any of these actually. Um, I think I ha might have a sunset somewhere but for the most part all of these kind of all of the ranges are new to me. It's such a pale yellow. It kind of reminds me of One Chic Chick from OPI. Although the formula might be a little bit better on this one. Yeah, I really like that. That's after dulling down quite a bit, that pink, hasn't it? Hmm. Anyway, that yellow is really, really nice as well. I like a pale yellow. So that is Stop the Clock. And then finally we have another one just from their core line, I guess. An old one from their core line. This is a multi-chrome gold. So it goes from a, or duochrome I should say. It's in a gold base and it goes from pink to kind of a, a greeny colour. Um, but it's mainly pink and gold that you're seeing. So very nice actually. I'm not sure what this is going to look like. It might look better over black. How thin is it? Oh, it's actually quite opaque. I was expecting it to be a lot more... I didn't expect it to be that opaque. It's not like, it's not fantastically, it's not one coat or anything, but I was just, I don't know why I was expecting it to be thinner. So that would look great over a black or maybe a brown in the autumn. So they are the Barry Ends. So I'm going to come back to them. Uh, meanwhile, let's have a look at this mystery Essie polish. Hopefully I found the name of it. And it's it's kind of a, an antique gold colour. And it's got this silver gunmetal gun kind of coloured magnetic particle in it. So I'll build it up here. Well, actually, let me show it to you in the bottle. But I, you know I'm not going mad in case it doesn't work on the... Uh, the swatch stick so let's have a look here so so you can see there is a magnetic effect going on here so yeah so hopefully that's not just the ball bearings and hopefully it's the actual uh, polish itself and I'm not losing my mind I think I'm right. I think I'm right. But you know, you never know with these things. So just, just seeing an epic fail if I'm wrong. No, I'm right. I am right. See? So it's actually quite magnetic. When wet. These things are always easier to do on a swatch stick, aren't they? I have ordered a magnetic top coat from this month's um, PPU, but yeah. So that's quite cool actually, that really worked well. And I'll put down a second coat as well. All right guys and girls, I'll come back with a second and third coat. So while we're waiting for um, the next coats, I thought I'd show you, I think, it's hard for you guys to tell now, but I think it's this one, right? I think it's rep style. Our little boa peep I think it's rep style but it doesn't have the magnetic cap now I already have an SE magnetic one I have this one sexy it's a red kind of one so I think this might be rep style I'm not sure uh, if you know please let me know down in the comments below Okay, so I am back with a, a third coat on everything except the Essie. So the first one, I haven't top coated them. Um, the first one is this one from, uh, this one from their core line, I guess. This is strawberry ice cream. I don't know if I'm imagining things, but I think it's scented. I think I am imagining things. It's been so long since I've had ice cream, strawberry ice cream or any ice cream, because I'm off dairy now, um, that, yeah, I can't, maybe I'm just willing strawberry ice cream into existence. But it's a beautiful formula, super shiny. I loved it when I wore it. And yeah, so I'm very pleased with that pink and I don't have one like it. Then we have this beautiful wine colour, although I think it's a much deeper colour than just wine, but it is called Vengeance is Wine. 
and um, yeah I love that and uh, you know I love my red wine so that's all good then we have this matte color which is not drying hugely matte at the moment now it's still wet so it's so it's not a matte that you need to work too quickly with but I'm not I'm not in love with the brush on this it's a quite thin brush but this is Miami and uh, it is a lovely lovely pink and to be honest I, I don't know if I'd wear it matte um, I'm not I love matte polishes but I always just have and just instinctly put my top coat on and like it nice and shiny then we have the pale yellow here it is a yellow after you build it up and this is stop the clock not the best formula it really does remind me of one chic chick from OPI so I know I always say I must compare them and I never do. I never do comparison videos. I'm the worst, but I will try sometime in the future because I am going to try and go on a low buy now. Uh, although I did do two, three orders that are waiting for me in Ireland, but none until between now and the autumn, which is like four weeks away. Anyway, uh, this is Cassapian and this is a beautiful, I would say duochrome. It does shift the, the there's kind of pinky purple into the gold and it's really, really pretty. I, I prefer to try that over a darker color. I think that'd look really cool on a brown actually. And then this magnetic worked really, really well actually. If you're wondering, I picked the magnetic pen up from Born Pretty. So it just has a, a flower shape at the top, which I used here. And then it has this drag at the bottom. So that's where I picked that one up from. And let's go with that being Repstyle from SC because I have no idea what one it is. It doesn't have the magnet ma magnetic cap, but it certainly is a magnetic polish. And I do love that effect. It's really, really cool. So guys and girls, that was my little TK Maxx haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you all again soon. Take care. Bye.